Hey friends, we're back and today we are tackling zone two. There has been one revelation so far with this zone. I have probably started to film this video at least three times and I've struggled for a couple of reasons. One, zone two is my kitchen and my dining room and they are always a mess. There are always dishes that need to be done, clutter that needs to be cleared, always. For those that are new, I'm a homeschool mom. I cook three meals a day. We do homeschool in the dining room. So it's just the nature of the beast. The other reason is I just have limited spoons. I'll go to tackle the clutter because the fly lady says you can't clean clutter. So I go and tackle the clutter and by the time I'm done tackling the clutter, I have no more energy. That has not been working out. And then, I read one of your comments. I will try and find it and put it here. But you said your favorite saying of the fly lady is to jump in where you're at. And I thought, wow, I am the queen of making this so difficult on myself. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna jump in where we're at. Yes, I have a sink full of dishes. And you can't see very much countertop from the clutter I have but that's okay. I've got a list here. Here's the list for today. I'm not gonna say there's zero chance we're gonna get through this list this week, but we're gonna do our best, and progress is progress, all right? So, if you're in a cleaning mood, pause this video, get your shoes on, and let's go. If, if you're having a rest day, you just let me do the cleaning for you, and I will try and provide you with all the satisfying shots. Let's go. Okay, there is no telling what we are going to find. Full disclosure, we have not cleaned under this fridge since we got it going on four years ago. So, I trust that this is a judgment-free zone, but I am ready for whatever it holds for me. You ready? I'm ready. Sounds like glass. Oh, I bet there's a lot of glass under there. So watch your feet. There's really not a whole lot of space to move it. They didn't really give us much space. What? I can already see some stuff. Oh my stars. I thought it would be worse. You thought it would be worse? I had no idea it would be this bad. <gasps> Y'all, this is your PSA to clean under your fridge. What do you think that spill was? Mm -hmm. Looks like a crime scene. <laughs> Murder was the case. Oh. Stuff back in. Probably like a ketchup packet or something. That is not a ketchup packet. I'm sorry. Ooh. Something died back there. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe two ketchup. Oh, man. I think this is a job for Steven. Only one way to clean it. But Nothing to it but to do it. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the damn time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. not mad at myself for waiting to do this with Steven. I didn't need his help, but I sure do appreciate it. So let's take a poll real quick. 
Let's take a poll and be honest, down in the comments, how often do you get behind your fridge and clean it? I wanna know the truth. I don't believe the fly lady calls you out to do this every zone cleaning, but in the spirit of spring cleaning and knowing there were signs <laughs> under there. You've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna, never I'm gonna kick him. That. That okay, hush. <laughs> and I mean, there were signs under there that something may be amiss going on. So um, <laughs> I just took this opportunity to do it. But how often is one supposed to get under there, truly? Wait, did I get it clean? I almost forgot to film it cleaned. Steven did a great job. You're looking at me so cold. Get over yourself, are you for real? Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. me down, don't you know I get up? Yeah, baby, I will fight. No, there ain't nothing stopping me. I'm bulletproof, I won't fall. I'm bulletproof, go on and shoot me down. I will always get up again. try really hard to ignore the stuff that is just part of daily routine that's like doing dishes and that sort of stuff we will have to declutter a little bit in order to thoroughly clean the counters and the backsplash and all that I had something really thoughtful to say about zone cleaning but I figured no one was really gonna hear it with the fact that I have a wedgie so, let's acknowledge it, welcome it, because it's in many of upcoming shots that were tough to edit around. And I learned today that these pants are no longer acceptable for filming. Okay, we got the counter decluttered. It still needs to be wiped down. I went ahead and put all the dirty dishes over here. We will get that later today during the nighttime routine. Let's see how many of these things we can get checked off. Because I don't know what each day is going to bring as far as my physical pain and energy, I work the fly lady system to where when I'm having a good energy day, I just carve out the time. Sometimes it's an hour, you know, sometimes it's 30 minutes, whatever. But I carve out the time and just get as much done as possible. So whatever we don't get done on this list, in the next hour or so, we will save for the next time. Like, I can tell you, emptying the fridge and freezer and cleaning that out, I've done it recently, so I'm not going to make that a priority. 
but things like wiping down the cabinets, dusting the light fixtures, I've got some cobwebs, y'all, and resetting some of the drawers. Those kind of things are going to take a little bit more priority, wiping down the appliances and all that, so enough talking, let's go. One thing that I really forgot about during the weekly home blessing video was Flying Lady doesn't want you to spend more than 10 to 15 minutes on a task. And that was one thing I failed to do in that video. So remember when you are working her system to use a timer. It will be your best friend and it will keep you from doing more than you need to do. The rest that you do not finish can wait for next time. Yeah, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but are finally right with you and I the future is bright oh, you and I we got it oh, we don't need that was actually the first time I've ever used this pink stuff and I normally use barkeeper's friend but I think I might actually like that better. It did a fantastic job. had this working for me most of the day I sprayed it on probably five hours ago and it really made it effortless I did have to scrub out a little bit down here and you can see where I really got the spray and where I didn't and this is where I really have to let the perfectionism go <clears throat> because the perfectionist in me says hey if you just spray on more and leave it for five minutes, you can come back and probably get the rest of that, right? 
If you spent a little more time here, you'd probably get the rest of that. What about this drip on the inside? Well, let's go ahead and look up a video on how to get in there and get that out. And then before you know it, a five, 10 minute task is now a 30, 45 minute task. So we're really trying to break away from that perfectionism. All that stuff will be here the next time I hit zone two and it will be a five, 10 minute job next time. So we're going to, as Elsa would say, let it go. I'm kind of embarrassed to say how disgusting those blinds were. There are a few spots on the blinds, so I'm just gonna take a rag and just spot clean those, kind of like this. And then also kind of just give this a good wipe down. I used to bounce on knees, fresh from the oven, chubby and carefree. One might ask why I opted to not go the extra mile on the oven and why I went ahead and wiped down the blinds. The perfectionist got to me. But that's okay because actually the spots on those blinds have been bothering me and I was able to just take care of them. Um, she does include windows in her zone cleaning. I'm going to skip the windows on this portion. So next zone, Hopefully there's not all sorts of splatters on my blinds and that'll open up time for that on the windows. And the windows aren't that bad because they're covered with the blinds. But I did knock out the window seal and I'm going to skip the baseboards. We're gonna save it for next time. Saw the eyes of the maker, heard a rushing sound Caught up in the wheel, going round and round Spun like gold from the shining 
There is one drawer that I really need to reset, and that is this one. This is sitting on top of knives. And so it was not sitting flat on there. So we're gonna take care of that. Some of this just does not even belong. I do need to go through and do a whole nother kitchen declutter. So stay tuned for that. Not sure when that will be, but there's a lot in this kitchen that still is not working for me. New day here. I actually meant to end the zone two cleaning video yesterday, but I got busy and you know what happened? I had a spill in the refrigerator. I was not planning on cleaning the refrigerator, but I thawed out a Ziploc baggie of chili, which leaked, yes. So I'm gonna take care of that because ew, and we don't want any science experiments growing in there. So we're gonna just clean up that mess and focus on that area. And I figured we'll knock out a few cabinets that are screaming, clean me. Let's just go ahead and finish zone two cleaning strong. I'm genuinely thankful that I had thawed that out on the bottom shelf because the mess was pretty much contained on the shelf and then the overflow went into the drawer is the word I'm looking for. Went into the drawer. So that's really all I have to give a good scrub to. Mm -hmm.
kiss the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey, yeah, 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 call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I was recording the whole entire time, but I'm too lazy to reshoot that shot. I just put the shelf in the drawer back. That's all you missed. All right, that's gonna wrap up zone two cleaning for the first time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, go say something nice to yourself. Love you, and we will see you in the next one.